guys and welcome back well I hope I'm welcoming you back anyway if if not you better check out all of the other videos on my channel because well you've missed out on a lot if you don't know me my name is Dulcie and if you'd like to get to know me a bit better you can find me on my website, lifeofheritage.com, and I've got some cool freebies you can check out. And, and when you sign up for them, I actually send you some get-to-know-me emails that I sincerely hope you respond to because i like to get to know you too. It is one degrees and it says it feels like negative 11 and I believe it. It feels like negative 11. <laughs> you guys, oh, goaties were all nestled down and snuggled up. I would be too. <sighs> so it's time to milk. Let's get to milking. Today, I wanted to talk about something that, that I keep getting emails and questions and just comments about. I keep getting these questions. Should I give copper boluses and how often should I give copper to my goats? These are really good questions. By the end of the video, you will know the answer to this. Guys, I'll snuggle down still. It's cold, huh? It's cold, huh? But before I go into that, I'd like you to leave a comment by the end of the video if this helped you decide if you need to give copper bullets to your goats. Did it help you make a decision? Let me know below. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. And if you love goats, you know what to do. Give that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for, for more great goat content. Before I talk about this specific question, I wanted you to know that I have a video on my channel already about copper bullets. It can be your, your complete copper guide if, if you would like more information about this subject. And I've also answered the question, is copper safe to give to my pregnant does as well on my channel? And if you'd like to read any of this information, you can find that on my site as well. So I'll link all of those below for easy finding. This is really, really important information. It's an important subject. If you own goats, you really need to understand the ramifications of your goats being copper deficient. Okay, so to answer this question, you first need to know and think about just a couple of things. When you ask, should I give my goats copper boluses, you need to do something for me right now. Ready? <laughs> Go out to your goat barn and whisper in your goat's ear, do you need copper? And then come back and let me know what they told you. Your goats will tell you if they need copper. There are several ways your goats will tell you. Their coat will start to change color. Instead of their original color, it will become faded and dull. Their tails will have a fish tail. It'll be split like this and their faces will have bald spots. These are really important ways that your goat will tell you. That was cheesy. Was that cheesy? So to answer the question, do you need to give copper to your goats? You need to answer those questions. Do they have any of those signs with their coat, their tail, or bald spots on their face or body? And if they do, give them copper. Oh. 
Most likely your goats will display at least two of these early symptom signs I just mentioned and, and possibly all three of them. Now the next question, how often do I give my goats copper, really is answered by, by what I just said as well. And you need to be thinking about a few other things as well. Does your, your well water have high minerals that bind copper? Our well turns everything bright orange. That's why my hair is red. Our water, just kidding. <laughs> My hair is actually red anyway, but, but truly our water is so higher, high in iron and sulfur and, and both of those are bad deals for your goats. I have a video on my channel as well about that. Now just because I give my goats copper every three or four months doesn't mean you need to. You need to be out with your goats all the time. Take pictures of them and print them off and get them in your goat management binder so that you can you can quickly and easily look back and, and compare how your goat is is changing and looking. Document with pictures what they look like now and their progress to having sufficient copper levels. You won't regret having those pictures at all because it, it is absolutely impossible impossible to remember three months from now how your goat was back then it's just impossible don't expect yourself to do that if you start to see that your goats are, are losing their forward progress then give another bolus if they are struggling with anemia because they are warming and and they are just displaying the symptoms mentioned give them a copper bolus. Copper will help them keep the worm population under control much more effectively. The girl's soaking up the sun. Oh, you're soaking up the sun. This really all boils down to you knowing your area and knowing your goats. Your goats rely on you to pay attention to them. I can't answer the question for you. No one can. No one can better than you can. Another point to mention is how much copper you give your goats each time affects all of this too. You'll probably want to dose at one gram of the copper wire particles per 20 to 22 pounds. If the boluses that you're giving for your goats are, are less than that, then you'll probably give your goats those copper boluses more often. Does that make sense? So, what do you think? Do you feel better about this whole subject? I hope so. You know your goats. Trust your gut. Trust yourself to spot these symptoms and to act quickly before they get worse and out of hand. Also, just a quick mention that it is also okay if they chew the copper wires. They still sink to the bottom of the rumen where they are slowly released into your goat's system. Remember, you can watch the video on my channel about how to give these copper boluses really, really easily. So check that out next. Well, I'll be signing off for today. I'll see you in that next video. I hope you have an absolutely excellent day. Enjoy those goats and keep smiling. The milk is sufficiently cooled and so am I. I'm going inside. It's time to milk. I have a goat chewing on my camera. Hey.